Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Derek Afasi. I'm the owner of Afasi Financial Group. And today's topic, I want to discuss with you what is a 403B rollover. And if you currently have a 403B plan, how can you possibly roll it over into a type of IRA contract to give you specific benefits and specific uh, contractual guarantees um, on those monies? Now, a 403B is very similar to a 401K. The only difference is with the 401K, it's set up through a private institution, like a private uh, company, and a 403B is set up through a public company. So that's why you might see like a teacher or somebody that works in a hospital, um, they might be offered a 403B plan. A uh, person that works in a jail might be offered a 403B plan. You know, different things such as, you know, that, that's run either through the state, something that's on the public sector. Now, with a 403B account, understand that this is just like a retirement account. So when an individual goes and starts working for a company, they say, okay, here's your salary, and you're also going to have your little employer benefits package. Um, you know, one of the things that we're going to offer you is something known as a 403B account. So um, this person not really understanding exactly what retirement is or how to set it up properly, they just know that they have to put a percentage of their salary or certain dollar amount into this 403B account. So kind of think of this 403B account like a bucket of money. From there, um, what determines whether or not this 403B account is going to grow larger or smaller at the end of the day, at the end of the year, is dependent upon how well that market performs. The, the mutual funds that you choose within that 403B account, how well that they perform. So you had individuals in 2008 that you know had large 403B accounts. They were working for companies for 20, 25, 30 years. You know, maybe they had 500, 600,000 in a 403B account. And when 2008 hit, you know, now they're looking at two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred thousand dollars in their four hundred three B account, and there's that panic, there's that worry that individuals understand a very realistic scenario that their money could go down to zero if the market, you know, if the market performs that way. So with 403Bs, the reason why a rollover could be essentially be important is dependent upon the goals. If a client or an individual has a specific goal and it's set more for not necessarily the growth potential, but something that wants to give them a safe income or um, a safe, consistent growth on that bucket of money, if they're eligible for it, they could take their 403B account and roll it over, hence a rollover, into an IRA contract. Okay, now it's not just going to be any typical IRA. One of the things that we specialize on is we go through safe, consistent planning. So it's it's a couple of different variations of options. But what we do is we give um, specific, we offer specific IRA contracts that allow an individual to have that safe, consistent growth. Meaning, you know, one of the major effects, one of the major downsides to current four or three B accounts, why people roll over that money, is because they understand that they're paying. Um, it's something known as reverse dollar cost averaging. They're paying mutual fund related fees to be within those mutual funds. They're paying administrative fees to be within that 403B account. They might be hiring a financial advisor to oversee those accounts. Now, when hiring a financial advisor to oversee and give recommendations on mutual funds, there's nothing that's guaranteed within that. You had individuals that still lost over 50% in, to, in 2008 that had financial advisors that were monitoring those accounts. Now, if a financial advisor, if you sit down with one, a wealth accumulation specialist, they might say, hey, listen, you know, we're going to go, and we're going to charge you a 1% fee known as an advisor fee or wrap fee. So right at the gate, you're going to have the mutual fund related fee, the administration fee, maybe that equals 1%. Then you have the advisor fee if you're dealing with a wealth accumulation specialist. Then you have that potential downward market loss, like in 2008, the average portfolio lost 57%. Uh, but even in just a very simple scenario, let's say the market loses 10%. And then um, that individual wants to eventually take out money from that account. So maybe they're going to start pulling out income from that account. And maybe you know they don't know how much income to pull out. So they'll choose like 5% or 4%. So even though if you have a scenario where an individual has like $500,000 and they go and they decide to take out 5% that year, which is 25000 they wouldn't have just taken out $25,000, but they would have ended up taking out 5%. They would have lost 10%, would have had to pay a fee of 1% and pay a fee of 1%. So they thought that they were only reducing 5% that year, but in actuality, they reduced 17% of their value, which is... $85,000 that one year. They would have taken out $25,000 and they would have lost $85,000 in that $500,000 scenario. 
So it's just very realistic things that you have to be mindful of with, you know, whether or not you want to stay in that 403B account. Now, sometimes whenever you change employers, um, you know, or there's there's a different company that's coming in and taking over the employee benefits, they might give you that option to take the 403B account and roll it over into an IRA contract. One of the things that we specialize on is we try to say, hey, listen, you know, depend upon your uh, what your goals are. We're going to ask you a slew of questions. Depend upon what your goals are. Is it necessary to do a 403B rollover or should you just keep it within your 403B account? What do I mean by that? Well, if somebody has a goal of wanting to eliminate that reverse dollar cost averaging effect and say, you know what, I want to have safety, I want to have consistency, consistent growth of my monies, there's a way that you could roll over that 403B account into an IRA contract that kind of think of it like an IRA, like a bucket with a lid over it. There's some IRA contracts that allow you to utilize indexing strategies where anytime that the market goes up, uh, they go by a one-year point-to-point. Anytime the market goes up, they're going to receive a gain into that bucket, meaning kind of think of this lid coming up. They're going to pour the gain inside. Now that bucket's going to be a little bit larger. Now the lid's going to be closed. The next year, if the market crashes, well, then they're going to gain 0% into that account. You're going to have that floor of 0% at all times. So those are different types of nuances or different types of just safe, consistent planning that you could do with IRA contracts. Now, the other factor is that I mentioned on reverse dollar cost averaging is income. A lot of individuals, right when they're coming time for retirement, they're in their 50s and in their 60s, and they understand I only have a couple of years, you know, maybe, you know, within five or within 10 or within 15 years to retire, and I have access to a 403B rollover. How is there a way that I could have a specific lifetime income stream come to myself or come to me and my spouse? Um, you know, every single year that I could never outlive while I, I'm still controlling the amount of money in those accounts. And those that's a different type of IRA contract with it. And it has an IRA contract with, a, with an income rider attached to it. And those are set up through insurance companies. So, you know, one of the things that I highly recommend is you give the 1-800 number a call. You know, we deal, we're very savvy with 403B rollovers. Um, when calling in, you say, can I please speak with a retirement income specialist or retirement specialist? I have a 403B account, and our assistants will make sure that you get patched over to the advisor that would be, you know, eligible at that specific point in time. You might be dealing with myself, you might be dealing with another advisor, but what we're going to be doing is asking you a slew of questions and get your brain thinking. And it's going to basically say, okay, what are your goals? Are what you're currently doing, is that going to accomplish your goals and give you a very thorough analysis and ask you a whole slew of questions? From there, if we uncover some sort of need, then we're going to say, hey, listen, you do have some options that might be available to you. Now, there are some times that people call in, but we recommend, you know what, you stay exactly put. There's nothing that you should be doing. You can accomplish your goals successfully by just doing exactly what your plan is. Even if you didn't know that you, that you had a plan in place, sometimes that might actually be the best offer. Or, majority of the times when individuals call in, we're able to uncover some need or at least help them out with saying, you know, maybe they have a specific income goal and they have $500,000 in their 403B account. And in order to accomplish their specific income goal, you could leave a portion of it into the 403B account and then take, you know, 150000 of that five hundred to go into an IRA contract. Um, you know, with either that income need or that safe, consistent growth need, whatever that is, so that you're not throwing all your eggs in one basket. And those are just the important things to understand. So it all kind of depends upon how much money is in your 403B account, whether or not you're eligible for a rollover, whether or not a rollover makes sense to you, and then what are the best strategies and the best financial contracts out there that you could go and leverage um, for your particular area, for your particular state. And that's one of the things that we do. We have something in-house uh, it's known as the Retire Sharp planning system. And with the Retire Sharp planning system, it's a thorough process that whenever we uncover needs and we're going through different scenarios, we on average, on average, we go over 1,200 different scenarios with different product lines, hundreds of different product lines, hundreds of different proprietary strategies that are in-house through our agency, uh, making sure that we're going to be able to offer you or recommend you the most optimal result. We are A-plus rated on the Better Business Bureau. We've never had complaints. We've always had good reviews. And we deal with a large portion of 403B accounts or 403B rollovers. Uh, you know, you have to make sure that you're doing your due diligence, that you understand what are your certain um, contracts out there and strategies out there so that you're controlling the chips at all times. Once again, I want to thank you very much for, uh, you know, for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, RetireSharp. Um, you could visit our website, RetireSharp.com. 
And when subscribing to our YouTube channel, you'll have access to the most updated videos. You know, we're trying to put these videos out there on a weekly basis. Um, you know, we're getting a bunch of questions in there. So as the more questions that come in, the more videos that we're going to be able to create for individuals and you know, try to give you guys free content. I hope that you learned some good things and, you know, definitely look forward to your call. Uh, you'll be dealing with myself or another specialist. But I know that, uh, you know, when calling in, you can call in 24 hours a day, seven days a week, weekends, you know, holidays, anything. We always have a specialist standing by and uh, being able to take your call because of the national volume that does come into our office. Uh, once again, Derek Afasi, thank you much for watching this video, and I will. Uh, I look forward to speaking with you. Take care.